Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the new save file. We are jumping in again. We've been previously playing The Lost and Tainted Lost and I've just been thoroughly enjoying myself. Um, I'm going to go in as Tainted Keeper here just because I, again, thoroughly enjoy him as a character. We're going to either do Dark Path and try and do Mega Satan. In fact, I'd really like to do Mega Satan if we can because that's Golden Pennies unlocked, right? Um, and while we do have ways of getting Golden Pennies, um, I'd like to have them unlocked to show up randomly because... They are pretty damn powerful and not as rare as you would maybe think they are. So, and also they kind of really help when you play a Tainted Keeper um, after the fact. So, we will try our best to uh, to survive as this guy. We get a Labyrinth here, which actually means I'm just going to restart. Um, I wouldn't do this often, but it literally means one less shop right off of the bat as this character. If I'm not already on a streak, that is just an absolutely massive no-go for me. Um, so, big note to that. That was a really stupid play by me there. Um, in fact, I don't think we're going to get any pennies this room. These guys kill themselves. That's a little bit of a shame. But this guy will give us a penny here. We managed to get some random flies here, which I'm not quite sure where they're coming from. But I will accept them as my children. And take them forth. This is kind of an annoying room. Uh... Don't know why you had to play me dirty like this and make me have to do all this moving around. Gross. But I guess I'll accept it. Okay, just... I was about to say, does the head count as a separate entity in terms of being an enemy? Apparently not. Apparently not. Um, I was like, maybe the uh, the head can drop a coin too. It can not. So, okay. I was like, why is there another red key here? But I think that's simply there for if you spawn on the other... Oh, like, if you walk in the other side of the room. Unfortunately, we've got some rooms here with no combat, which I don't really like. Um, bollocks. I've really, really shit the bed on this one, haven't I? Okay, it's okay, it's okay. I'm trying to try and get enough money to make our actual shop viable. We'll see what's in there. Uh, see what we can get. See what's for sale. Uh, but probably just want Rotten Tomato out of all of these, although the test tube uh, spawns many Isaac picking up unneeded red hearts, although that doesn't actually unfortunately work for us. We can't pick up red hearts as character, so it's not quite as good as it otherwise would be. But I'll, I'm not going to buy Rotten Tomato yet, just because obviously our item room item or our boss item might be donking. Might be really, really good. So I'd rather... Wait until we see what we could possibly get from those first. Strange room. Um, very strange room indeed. Kill the fat worm. Try and get that coin. Just playing it super risky right now. Of course, these dips aren't always going to spawn money because um, they are spawned via another enemy. But I will try and farm them a little bit if I can. It's possible to farm them for a little bit, but the game doesn't give you too much opportunity to do so. Little Stepen, little Steven, um, I don't think is going to be good for us. Now, this is probably just a lost cause here, which is a real shame because it's actually a lot of free money. Um, this room's just kind of a tainted keeper troll. <laughs> little bit rude. Um, okay, so I'm going to go and buy the Rotten Tomato. Um, and then we'll we'll get enough money to buy whatever boss item might come forth. We'll, we'll see if it's any good. Um, I want to do another money-related question of the day, just to be thematic with who we're playing. But um, I'm not exactly sure what would be the best one to go for. To be honest, it's hard. To, it's hard to say. Um, dude, dude, dude. What's the most expensive thing that you currently want? What's the most expensive item that you like currently really want? For me, at the minute, it's probably. Um, oh wow, that. That was actually incredible. Uh, also, can we just talk about how absolutely horseshit this is? Um, yeah, no, I'm, I'm not having any of that. <laughs> Spawn bomb. How do I... Is it just 2.3.8? That is, that's a tier. Bomb balloon tier. What the fuck? Bomb balloon tier. Um, 4.0. Game. Come on now. This curse is such bollocks. <laughs> I'm not having it. You can't be just trolling me like that, game. Not fair. I'll take my item and I'll leave. 
Uh, for me, I don't know. Like, I, I definitely want a PS5 at the minute, and I've been wanting a Nintendo Switch for a while, but N N Nintendo Switch is one of the ones that I've just not really ever got around to getting, because I only want it for a few games, and, like, Nintendo are kind of been shitty recently, and I, I'd really rather not give them money. Um with all the stuff they've been doing to content creators recently. It doesn't really affect me personally, but I just think it's not stuff that should be supported because they're, they're being cunts. <laughs> um, and it's, yeah. So I, I'm not super invested, but I really just want to play Mario Maker 2. <laughs> I really just like the idea. Oh, gimme, gimme, gimme. I really just love the idea of Mario Maker. Basically, essentially, I, I've seen a bunch of videos of uh, DGR, a, a guy that does Mario Maker content, and a few other people where they, um, Okay. Where they do, um, like, random level speedruns, where they basically just find a random level, no matter how many players it's got, and they just try and break the world record on it, and, like, you see how many world records you can hold, and I just think that sounds like a real fun idea. Game, can you, like, not build rooms that force me to not be able to get any of the money? It's very, very, very rude. Just about to say don't kill that enemy while we can't access him, but... I did it anyways. Um, yeah, let's go straight for the boss because then we can do our devil deal. I was just about to say I could just leave this and get plum flute, but it'll still cost us, so I don't really care. You will never best me, good fella. You will never best me. Remember, he explodes into tears, and I'm very, very glad that I left that there. Uh... I'm not too interested in either of those. Um, our little snakey boy, he's pretty good. I do like the snake. But I'm thinking keeping my money might be a little bit better for me at this stage. Um, but yeah, pentagram here. Absolutely awesome. Love it. Now we're probably going to miss out on a good amount of money here. Um, take out who we can. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Oh, I was so close to not getting that, but I, I rushed in and, and grabbed it. I had to. I mean, we got it last time and we just got it again. Money equals power is very, very, very good as this guy, so I will be taking that most big leap. Oh, good. Means money that we don't spend gives us damage. We're gonna be getting money anyways, so. Um. I know that obviously this doesn't seem like the greatest idea right now because we're losing money off of money equals power. But I'm going to take both of those. One of them is just a straight damage up, which eventually will be more damage in the long run. And then uh, being able to have more choices in our item rooms seems incredible. I don't know if we can buy both choices. Um, if we... If we... Uh, yeah, I don't know. If we have the money for both, can we buy both? I don't, I don't think so. But maybe? I'm not sure. We'll find out. We will find out on this next of flaws. Pop the boss disc. Boss Good amount disc. of stats there, to be honest. Good. Excuse me, good sir. Okay, as long as we're getting rooms where it's reasonably easy for us to collect our winnings, I'm pretty happy. Rooms like this are not one such room. Uh, this is actually a really bollocks room that I despise. Um... Yeah, this room's gosh damn awful. These boom flies are, are, are pretty pretty treacherous with the rework. And these guys are just assholes. I, I absolutely despise these enemies. Go away from me. Really, that hit me? Get your goddamn child away from me, freak of nature. I will never enjoy you. Sorry to say it, but I will never enjoy you. Or your company. Okay, money gain, though, is going reasonably well. I mean, it's going even better now. We've just got a room that's full of money that's just there. Mom's toenail. No, thank you. Uh, I will take the poop shot. Although, I don't know how that's going to work for money gain. If, um, if I turn an enemy into poop, does it still give me money is the question I'm, I'm currently trying to uh, piece together. Unfortunately, it doesn't. Okay. That is not great to know. What on earth? I was not expecting that at all. 
these guys aren't going to give me money anyways. Although, some of them do. Um, yeah. Unfortunately, if we turn enemy into poop, it does look like we don't, um, really, that's stupid. We don't get uh, any money for it, but it is only a 3% chance to fire one of those tiers. Overall, we're not, in the long run, we're not going to be losing a lot of money out of that. It's only, it's, it's negligible amounts of money, realistically. Um, yeah, that is a little bit of a shame to see, though. Probably not going to get too much out of this. Um, you. With electric buddies. Oh! Bollocks. That's that so we don't die. But yeah, I don't know if luck increases our chances of, uh, of firing those poop tiers. Because in that case, it might be more problematic if we get luck upgrades. I'm actually going to try and take out first because you're way more potentially annoying. Good, and then you are mildly annoying. Shop, where art thou? There you go. Ignore that penny for now. It's lost to the ether. Really? A nickel in between all that crap? I mean, this is definitely... Oh, that was so stupid. Why didn't I take Steam Sale first? I didn't see it. I didn't goddamn see it. That as well. Mother's Love is generally pretty good. I'll take Mother's Love. Oh, no way. I, I also get it gives you a soul of love to start. Good stuff. Yeah, this is a very, very good run now. Holy shit, our uh, chain electricity turned that enemy into poop as well. Might be losing more money than I would have thought here. We'll see. We are on a, a wet floor right now, which means that we do... Um, we do get uh, more electricity chains. Just That's just how this works. This is good stuff. This is really good stuff. I will go for this. Uh, speed upgrade here is nice. I think I'm just going to take the speed upgrade because it allows us to potentially get pennies easier. I like that. See, I got a look upgrade there. I don't actually know if that's a good thing for me. Off that as well. Hey, we managed to actually get a respectable amount of money here going into our boss fight. Who knows if we'll get angel or devil here or anything at all. 90% chance of either. Ooh, we got some mushrooms here that I didn't really notice there. Good, a little bit of extra there. And I don't think that does anything for us. So we're going to have to leave you be. Uh, but we head down to the next floor. With our head held pretty high, remember that now we've got Steam Sale, things are uh, a lot better for us. I've only got two keys, I won't open that quite yet. This is still a wet floor, so we still get the bonus of the uh, extra electric zaps. Really, really nice that they added that as a touch, considering after, obviously, adding the downpour, there was more wet floors to play with. It made more sense. Before, obviously, having just the flooded caves, it wouldn't have really made as much of sense, really. But now that there's more wet floors to play around with, it makes a lot more sense. Burn first. Kill everything near the goddamn enemy that leaves all the tears around, you stupid. Plus 10 bombs is pretty worth it. Okay, and the other item does disappear. But plus 10 bombs, pretty worth it for the, the low, low cost that was associated with it there. Would like a little bit more speed so we can get around to some of this money. Missing out on a good bit. We are getting a lot of dimes right now. Wow. Lucky penny there. Nice. Yeah, dimes are like kind of fueling the fire for us right now. We're getting a lot of them. We're going to do Mega Satan. We are going to have to try and get an angel at some point. And then here we have chance to shoot a purple fire, which causes enemies to be cursed and take extra damage. I like that. And we'll take that as well. Range room. Thought there was combat in it for a hot second. Oh, for God's sake, crab. 
Get out of here. Nobody likes the crabs. Apart from if we're playing crab champions. Then it's a different story. Then if, like, look at how many enemies I turned into poop in one fell swoop. And that rhymed. <laughs> turned into poop in one fell swoop. And goddamn, and nickel as well. I also saw that timid rock back there, do not worry. Like, I would like... It's, 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 it's a shame to be losing money on enemies that we tend to poop, but in terms of killing power, it's pretty awesome. That, that like, it chain lightnings them all together and kills them all. Okay, this guy always deals damage to me, so let's be careful. We got him. He didn't drop any money, though. At least this guy did. Really? No devil deal or anything again? And we got another crappy boss item. What a shame. So no, no massive electricity chains now, unfortunately. Stand on our own two feet. We got a Pac-Man Ghost, which I, I really like. Those enemies I'm not a fan of. Oh, Lord, what is happening here? Whatever it is, I don't like it. Okay. Yeah, even just, like, Rotten Tomato. Honestly, Jacob's Ladder is so good for, like, chaining tier effects together. That's so rude, game. I need flight. Wow. I told you, just dimes are the thing that is carrying us. Getting so goddamn many of them at the minute. It's crazy. This is Necro 1, right? Yeah, let's just do the boss. Gutsu uh, the large. I, I I genuinely don't really know what this guy does. I seem to have turned uh, something of... Some amount of him into poop, though. We've got a devil deal, unfortunately, so it might not be in the cards for us to... Uh, do thingy. I'm going to rewind if this kills me, but I need to know if this kills me. I'm going to do the rewind if it does kill me. It does kill me. Is it not rewind? Yeah, it is rewind. I just had to check to know. I wasn't 100% sure if it would or not. Okay, and now we don't get the devil deal? Okay, strange. I mean, it's kind of fair. <laughs> to be honest, it's kind of fair. But I, ha I had to know. Sad, to sad that that's the case, but I thought if it's something that gives you broken hearts, it's likely to kill you. I had to do the science experiment myself though, to really know. We also got a new baby from that, apparently, I think. Didn't, was this not the floor that we had the uh, Pac-Man ghost? Look at the slidey blocks, they're new and different now. They've been changed. I mean, I guess this is probably worth it. Yep, another darn. Awesome sauce. Awesome sauce indeed. Very bad hit by me there. Oh god! For some reason, I didn't expect that guy to jump out, like, on me like that. Where's our shop at? All we need at the moment. Actually, to be fair, this is worth opening, because there's a the thingy right there. There you go. Penny right next to it. Oh, Lord. That's a lot of boys. Plus one damage, I will take. Where the hell is our item room and shop? I'm missing out on both right now. I have to check all these just in case. Give me that actually.
I mean, we've got too much money already. See, at this point, I have literally no idea where I am on the map. So, I mean, there you go. It doesn't matter. We found what we needed. Golden wafer? I don't even think this does anything for us, but it's two wafers. How could I say no? Um, Juicy sec. Mega bean. Do some donating. I realize this is getting rid of some damage, but... No better time than now. Yeah. Got a luck upgrade for it as well. Mega Bean's not going to be all that useful, but I took it anyways. I don't really know where the hell I am right now. It's very confusing. Very confusing about where I am. Go this way? Maybe? Yeah, this is the way to the boss. Okay. We're golden. We're golden, people. Money we can't have. Bad times. And it's down this way. Here we go, okay. Right, go. Let's go. Everything is poop. You get farted on you. Oh god. That was scary. Rooms are dying really quick, but it's still the fear is there. Also, we've got like this absolute little anime chick following us. I don't, I don't know what she's meant to be from, but she looks very anime. The only thing with this Jacob's Ladder is it's killing enemies quite far away from me, which is problematic. Speed up. I will take that. I will take that most certainly. Got to the look upgrade point now where we're getting a lot of chests apparently. Got for me. Again, not, not anything great. Not anything great. Our item rooms have been pretty bad, really. The wafers are great but useless. Imagine if having two wafers just meant you could talk no damage. Good. That's pretty good, but honestly, plus one damage is a little more my style. Good. Got that. Oh god, that guy's fast. I got blurred. There's so many spiders and stuff right now. What, what are all they from? Is it just is that just from Juicy Sack? It might be, you know. If that's just from Juicy Sack, then Juicy Sack is underrated. This guy's slapping right now. Doing a crazy good job. Hey, as I shot. I mean, we'll definitely take that. We'll definitely take that. I might as well take that. I'm tempted by this, but I think it's like a little bit too late now. We're on Necro 2. Okay, now it's just finding the boss, which I think is this way. Yeah. Okay, cool. Good to go. Okay, wow. We are just destroying right now. Where are we going here? We did light path, so I guess we're doing dark path. We need to be quick about this if we want to do boss rush, which I don't have to do, but I kind of like to do. Um, yes. 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 <laughs> I want all of them, please. Uh, if there's anything really good here, I mean, yes, there is. 
I'll take the gamble for it. I don't know what you are over here. I'm a little scared by that. Oh shit, the sides. Didn't see the goddamn sides. Pins up here doing his business as well. There's not too many boss rush bosses that I'm like really scared of, but there's certainly a few. But I think we have the ability to do really well here. Hellfire and Stardia Bottomless Pit are like so goddamn good. And like together they're even better. You're one of them that I'm scared of, I'll be honest. You are certainly one of them, good sir. Luckily, basically anything that can do a brimstone is scary. Our fire rate is pretty nutty though right now. Oh, this guy is potentially scary as well. Get him dead as quick as we can. Doing fire and all sorts of crap everywhere. Flighted over them. You can't brimstone anymore. You used to be able to. You've been changed. You've changed, man. We've also got a penny available to us that is static over there from the poops. And there's another one right there as well. We can leave those there as, like, gifts to ourselves if we get hit. So there's... Oh, shit. I got way too close then. That was Kingpin. We got the fall in here. Fall is so cute now. What the hell? Who made the fall so goddamn cute? Last piece. This has got to be like nearly it, right? It's got to be like almost done here. Okay. That was another one I was worried about. Thank God he's gone. This is another one I was worried about. These red poops are worrying me. I tell you that for nothing. Okay, it's done. And we got a great item off the back of this as well. Heal Spares is just an insane amount of damage. I genuinely think it might be, like, broken in the way that it works. It just gives you an obscene amount of damage. Definitely think our poops are uh, luck based because I seem to be firing. I seem to be like turning things into poop a lot and creating a lot of poops. Four percent. I don't know why that trinket even exists when the hollow heart exists. One burn heart every single time you go to a new floor. Four percent chance on hit to get a burn heart. Hmm. Which one's better? <laughs> it's like four percent. It should be like twenty percent or like at least ten. I realise that obviously the, the, the finger burn was made well before Hollow Heart, but just like, it could have been changed after Hollow Heart was made, really. Hollow Heart is nuts how good it is. I should be picking up this money, really. I don't need it, particularly. I mean, I, I've done Hoshi, I definitely don't need it. But, it is giving me uh, damage, so worth it. That's pretty good. I like Grant's flight. Ain't nothing wrong with that. We managed to get our money up to a respectable level now. So many little uh, locusts here as well. All blue flies become locusts. It's just an absolutely crazy ability. Yeah, see how good that is. And now we're getting up to the point where we don't need to really chase after money all that much. We'll get it where we can, but it doesn't particularly matter.
happy with. If it's a nickel or a dime, then definitely beeline it to it, but otherwise, we don't care. It's Mr. Fred. Rework Mr. Fred is very cool. Not that we get to see him for very long. That, I forgot we've got a devil dealing coming here because of, uh, what's it called? Goat head. Fortunately, it's a devil deal that we couldn't possibly care less about. Right, we go. We go. At this point, I think, yeah, um, what's it called? Jacob's Ladder is just, like, doing everything for us, so... Don't particularly have to worry. Spawning poops. Angering everyone. Doing all the right stuff. Don't even care about about that dice room. I, don't, I just can't imagine anything that would give me that I'd want. Like, even a five room on this floor, on the womb, there is very little point. I do, I, I do have goat head, so there's that, but honestly, I don't need it, do I? Could get telefragged here, be careful. Th them guys definitely seem to telefrag less than they used to. Still plausible though. Still gotta keep my wits about me just in case. Bomb back. But again, at this point with bombs, couldn't care less. Beautiful. <laughs> Void is plausible here, but I think I do I do want to do Dark Room though. That's very good for us just in case. We should go down. Yeah, we'll see if we can do Void later, but I'd rather just do Dark Room for now. Really? This boss right off the bat? Also, this little skull thing is a nuisance. Get out of here. <clears throat> That's sc them skull things, any room with them in. Also, I turned that thing into a poop there, the, uh, the grimace. Didn't know I could do that. I'm very happy to find out that I can. Everything is poop now. Everything is poop when you're part of a team. That is not my brimstone. Be aware of that. Right. Things could go awry here, so we just gotta be careful. We're gonna kill him pretty quick, boys. If he gets a, a foot off on me, could spell disaster. It doesn't matter though, he never got the chance. We got perfection here, which I think I am gonna take now. We lose a little bit of damage, but far more chests. All good stuff. All good stuff. Yeah, we should hopefully be able to keep perfection going. Dad's key. Baby. Oh, baby. How kind is this game sometimes? I don't know what's going on in this room. Do I even want to know? Oh, the, the, the room was finished and it did give me a uh, chest. Nope. I think I'm okay for emoji glasses right now. Could do stuff to mess me up. Same with Dr. Fetus, to be honest. Cool stuff, but I just don't think it fits the style of this run right now. Also, it cares of darkness, so we have piercing. Turn into a poop. Okay, apparently I can't. Thought that would work, but it doesn't. See you burning me. Step off. Chest. It's not particularly useful, but I'll take it.
Noctua Tremor also not particularly useful. <clears throat> Just turn everything into poop. I love that. Okay, a few herming shots out there. Get this guy taken care of. Wowee. I will take this money if I can grab it. Just because we need extra damage. Right. I can't believe we got lucky enough to get Dad's key. Now, I could go around and do some more rooms here to try and get some more shit. I guess. But do I really need more shit? <laughs> Moonlit Mirror replaces all non perishable pickups in the room with either three coins or a nickel based on luck. Okay, doesn't really mean much for us. Right, I think we should just go straight for Mega Satan and not take any risks. And hope for the best. We don't really have that much defensively going on, but our offense is obscene. We should hopefully be able to kill him. Obviously, we have the potential 50-50 for a respawn. That's that's not going to save our life, of course. I mean, I literally got hit instantly there. I have no idea what by. But we got our health back, so don't worry about it. Oh god, got hit again. Luckily, we are getting pennies here. Um, we've managed to generate some, like, static pennies. So they're there to save our life if we if we need them. Unfortunately, only one of them's at the back of the map. I'd rather more of them be better at the back. We just gotta watch out for the brimstone. That's the only attack that can really screw us. And he telegraphs it a bit better now, so that's good. Right, second phase. We've got, like I said, a good amount of pennies around. The second phase is the only thing that worries me, though, because it's it's pretty boxed in, like, how plausible it is to dodge some of the stuff he fires at you, so... But the good thing is he has less damage, and the fires we shoot every now and again do help. But, like, this sort of attack here is just, like... Okay, then. Hope for the best. I'm just trying to destroy as many tiers as I can here. Oh, wait. Do those? Those fires destroy shots. Okay, that, that changes a lot. That changes things for me. I love how many poops we're just creating here. There you go. We got him. Will we get delirium as well? Will we get delirium as well? Because I'll go for it if we do. Nope. Unfortunately not, but there you go. Really fun run. Hope you guys did enjoy that one. And I will see you guys in the next one.